Behind me, I have the Sunstream Evolve 20 Fire of Red Sauna. This is a really good sauna. So it comes with this remote, and I can change the colors. And they do have um, that good cedar smell, which I love. Hey, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com. Behind me, I have the Sunstream Evolve 20 Fire Infrared Sauna. This is a two-man sauna, and I've been using it for the last three months now. So, in this video, I'm going to do a comprehensive review of this sauna. I'm going to share my insights and feedback and experiences from the sauna. I'm also going to look at some of the features of the sauna, such as the materials used, wavelengths submitted. Uh, we're going to look at price, warranty, accessories. You know, it's going to be everything. Um, if you'd prefer to read, head over to alexfergus.com as I have written a comprehensive article um, reviewing the sauna, including lots of photos and a lot more details. So um, I'll put a link to that below. Otherwise, be sure to hang around for the next 10 minutes or so as we take a good look at this rather unheard of, not that common uh, sauna. And um, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. If you do watch this video, you'll be pleasantly surprised because you may find another sauna to add to your potential uh, shopping list. Alright, so first things first, let's have a look at the sauna. It is the Evolve 20, which means it is a two-man sauna. I'm sorry I can't get a better camera angle. I'm a little bit cramped for space here because of the clear light sauna. Um, but hopefully you can get a pretty good look at what the layout is like. Um, you can see the panels inside come up to about shoulder height uh, if we open up the sauna inside you can see there's actually a massive heater on the front which is very rare for um fire fire infrared sauna companies usually uh, they have nothing and if they do it'll be a thin sauna uh thin infrared panel so that's cool there are also panels on the floor which is great and then on the back of the seat so you have a full 360 degree uh heater pl panel placement which is great the sauna itself is made out of base wood. So this sauna, the Evolve 20, has a full glass front. So it has a glass door, and obviously the, the heater panel here is, is grayed out. But then you, you also have these two sheets of glass on the side here. So it actually looks really cool uh, from a distance. Unfortunately, it's very hard for me to get a shot. Now, if you decide to purchase the Sunstream Evolve Sauna, you'll be pleasantly surprised to find that there's a bunch of accessories uh, that come free, uh, included in the price. Uh, we get this neat little aromatherapy unit, which um, just looks like a little half shot glass and uh, a little holder for it. And that simply hangs on the wooden frame. Uh, like so and the idea is you put some uh, of your favorite essential oils in there and um, that will burn off with the heat and, and help the cool thing is these uh, seats back supports I don't know what they're called back rest yeah back rest it comes with two of them they both look the same just to show this too uh, they are cedar wood so they're slightly different color to the base wood here and they do have um, that good cedar smell which I love so I have one against that wall one against the back and then I can sit and then I can sit in there with my feet up and I'm not coming into contact with any of the panels uh, next is this cup holder and again some of these like I said some of these things you might be like oh you know it's a bit gimmicky or, or not or it's not worth much but and I want to see, um, this is very, very useful. Now, um, the idea is it comes with some screws and you just screw it in wherever you want. And then once it's screwed in place, you can rest your cup and or your drink bottle in like so. A towel, uh, Sunstream infrared sauna's towel, which is cool. I mean, they didn't have to do that. Um, and it's not gonna be the difference between buying this sauna or not, but it is a nice little add-on and it will definitely come in handy. A sauna hat, also labeled with the Sunstream sauna logo. And it also comes with a brush, which you can use to help with blood flow when you're in the sauna. So all of that is included in the price, which I think is, is 
was awesome. I mean, there, there's a lot of value there. Um, and if you bought a sauna and it didn't come with all those things, and then you had to go out and buy each thing or build them or, you know, all that sort of stuff adds up, especially the backrest. Um, so big, big thumbs up, double thumbs up there for um, Sunstream saunas on that front. One of the first things I want to talk about is the materials used in the sauna. So the sauna is made up of 100% basewood. Basswood, basewood, I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. But that's what it's made with. Now, um, why do I mention 100%? Well, some other saunas, including very popular, well-named premium uh, infrared saunas, claim to use 100% or exclusive cedar or whatever timber it is. But then when you have a look on the on the roof or internal um, walls, you actually find they use uh, plywood and uh, synthetic or processed woods, which can, um, well, often do, contain VOCs, formaldehyde and other potential toxins. Now, this sauna, Sunstream, they only use basewood or base, basswood, I don't know how to pronounce it, which is great. And I've got up on the ceiling, I'll show you soon. There is basswood panels at the top, underneath, on the side, all these safety rails, all safe quality, toxin-free timber, which is great. Um, the only thing that's not basswood is the backrest, which I'll show you. Uh, soon and I think they're, they're made out of cedar so that's fine. Now why is this an issue? Well why could this be an issue? If you're sitting inside a sauna, chances are you're doing it for health, right? You purchase a sauna for the health benefits, you use the saunas for health benefits which is great. Now a saunas get hot. If there are materials inside whether it is plastics or timbers or these processed timbers like um, plywood and particle board the glues, the chemicals that I've used, that I've used to make these materials can off gas. So if you're sitting in a confined space with the door shut and you're heating it, these materials can off gas pretty much putting out these chemicals into the air. And now of course you're sitting in this room for, or this box for 20, 30, 40 minutes, you're going to breathe these chemicals in and absorb them. And I've written an article on how toxins can literally cause you to gain fat and link to all sorts of health issues. I'll put a link to that in the, in the show notes below. Head over to alexfigures.com for more. So it's great knowing that this sauna is made 100% from natural wood, but not only natural wood, it's made from base wood. But if you head to the wood database uh, website, which is a really great website, by the way, they'll talk about, uh, they look at allergy and toxic toxicity levels of various woods. Now, out of all the common, um, sauna wood so you have cedar you have basewood you have hemlock um there's a few others out there this basewood actually comes out as the best it is virtually free of any um allergens and uh, there are no toxicity issues now sunstream have used a glue i forget the name it's in my blog at alexfigs.com but this glue is a food grade glue it's been uh, approved by the fda for use in um, food grade products. All right, let's take a quick look up top to see what's on the top of the sauna. As you can see there, it is the same base wood material. Quick comparison to the clear light sauna I have over here and you can see it's made out of particle board. All right, so now I wanna talk about the EMF levels emitted from the Sunstream sauna. Now, if you go to the Sunstream website, sunstream.com or infrared for those that are in New Zealand or Australia, you will see that the uh, manufacturer states that their saunas are virtually free of any EMF and ELF uh, radiation, which is a big claim, uh, especially as saunas are well known to have high EMF readings. I mean, people talk about sitting inside some of these cheap uh, infrared saunas you see on the market and effectively microwaving themselves. And again, if you're buying a sauna to use something in the name of health, you don't want to be sitting inside something that is radiating the body and, and causing another stress. But in a nutshell, uh, the manufacturer was correct. There is virtually no EMF or ELF output from the sauna. And um, I tested that at half an inch from the panels, pretty much assuming I was sitting right next to the panels, which is, of course is what you do. Uh, I tested for microwave, magnetic field, and electric field, and I have this set to very strict um, building biology standards, and that means every reading will, will get a green, a yellow, or a red. Green being safe, yellow being you know dangerous, red being extremely dangerous. Now, 
for all three readings, microwave, electric, and magnetic, the quantum meter stayed in the green zone, which means that this sauna is 100% safe from an EMF and an ELF point of view. Next up, let's look at the wavelength. So, infrared saunas primarily use what's called far infrared to heat the body to work. That's how they work. All right, these heated panels behind me take electricity and they convert that into far infrared light waves. Uh, that far infrared ray penetrates the body, causes a uh, therapeutic sweat effect, uh, heats the body tissues, and um, yeah, you get all the good things from infrared saunas as a result. And I've written an article on that as well, so you can go over to alexfigures.com to check that out. I'll put links to all these articles below. What's happened in the infrared sauna space is that some saunas are coming out now with full spectrum saunas, and these saunas use panels or add-on accessories, lights, heaters, that also emit uh, near and mid infrared rays. Now there is some science showing that this can be beneficial, but there's also some science showing that the near infrared rays in particular can in fact be damaging when it's emitted in high levels in a high heat environment, which is exactly what you're doing in a, in a sauna. So I'm a big fan of near infrared, I'm a big fan of red light, and I'm also a big fan of fire infrared. In fact, I've written an article on uh, near infrared, the benefits of near infrared light. However, the benefits are quite particular. They're around certain wavelengths, such as 850 nanometers, and uh, exclusively, uh, the science looks exclusively at that wavelength, not a spectrum of wavelengths, and again, it doesn't look at heat. So, to reap the benefits of near infrared light, I actually use a near infrared panel that uses LEDs instead of carbon or ceramic or incandescent bulbs. Um, Sunstream, what Sunstream have decided to do, because they've looked at the same research and um, they've figured out the same things that I have, and they've come to the same conclusion. Far infrared is very, very powerful for health, healing, sweat, detoxification. Near infrared also has therapeutic benefits, but when you combine the two, there are potential issues. So what they've done is that their Evolve saunas, what I'm sitting in right now, emits far infrared rays with a little bit of mid and zero near infrared. Now some people will see this and think, oh well I want the full spectrum sauna because that has more rays, you know, it has the near infrared as well. But they don't see the full picture, they don't see the story with the near infrared issues. But like I said, near infrared rays do have some benefits. Um, so what Sunstream have, have developed is uh, a dedicated uh, Evolve light therapy light. And now that comes um, with a panel about yay big and it uses LED lights and it hangs on the outside of the sauna so you can use that while the sauna, the Evolve sauna is heating up and then you can get the benefits of near infrared light from a safe LED panel and then you enter the sauna and get the benefits of fire infrared. I guess what I'm saying is to get the best results from fire infrared and near infrared you should separate them, don't try to combine them. As soon as you try to combine them the science gets a little bit messy and um, you know when you're spending thousands of dollars you want to get something that you know is going to be safe and is going to work well. Behind me you can see the big heater panel on my right you can see another panel on my left the third panel. Now in front of me you also see a big panel which pretty much goes down to my ankles and comes up to say chest height. That's the 360 degree setup, which is which is pretty cool. And it's quite rare to be honest in the infrared sauna market. But there's more. Below me you see a panel on the floor that's radiating heat up. And then you see the panel on the back of the bench seat. That's shining onto the back of my legs. So you're getting exposure from all angles. Uh, pretty much everything except for head down, which you don't really want, you know, top down. Um, and I explain why uh, in, in much more detail in my written review over at alexfigures.com, so go check that out. Likewise with all the stuff around wavelengths and EMF, alexfigures.com, um, I'll put links to the forward and review over there. So yeah, I highly recommend checking that out if you're serious about buying one of these saunas. But the great thing about this arrangement is you can be sitting in the sauna and you're getting hit from the left, the front, the right, behind you, and bottom up, including the back of your legs. And like I said, not many saunas do that. 
Even better is you'll notice that the sauna, uh, the heater panels only go to about shoulder height. In front of me, it's about chest height. All right. Another thing to remember is when you when you get in an infrared sauna, you're not trying to heat the air temperature. It's not a environment ambient air temperature heat that you're looking for. And that's what dry saunas do. All right. When you get in, you're like, "Whoa, this is hot," and you sweat as a result. Infrared saunas work, work differently. You're actually looking to get maximal penetration from the infrared rays, and you want to get maximal, maxim, maximum, maximum uh, maximum exposure from these infrared rays onto the body. Which is why this whole 360 degree setup is actually really good. Because if you only had panels on the side and behind you, you're missing out that whole entire front plane. Another thing I should mention about the heater panels in the Sunstream sauna is that they use what's called nano carbon technology. Now a lot of infrared saunas use carbon heaters. Uh, some use ceramic, some use incandescent, uh, halogen, all sorts of technologies. Based on my experiences with saunas and the research I've done, carbon heaters are the best. So this is great that I've got this. But their nano carbon heaters are even better. Uh, and again, I don't understand like the electrical engineering side of things that's gone into it, but I do know as a result, their EMF levels are virtually zero. And um, from an output point of view, you sweat a lot. Another cool feature that this sauna has is you can actually remove these wooden protection, protect, wooden slat protectors. This removable slat feature comes in handy when you want to clean the bottom sauna panel. Because I don't know if you can see it, but that's quite dirty. I haven't cleaned that for two or three sessions. Uh, no, I'm not super grubby. I was actually just waiting to show you um, in this review. So I can pull that up, wipe that down after this one is cooled down, and um, you're back to a nice clean panel. All right, now I want to talk about layout, size and layout. So this is a two man sauna. That means you can fit two people side by side. I mean, you could get three, but it would be quite squishy. Um, two man sauna. Now, there are benefits of getting a smaller sauna. I know when you think of saunas, you think, well, let's get the biggest one I can afford. But the benefits of getting a smaller, smaller sauna include a smaller price. Obviously, it's much much um, cheaper to buy a smaller sauna. Uh, less energy to heat. Uh, the bigger the sauna, the more heat is, the more electricity costs, the more it's going to cost to run. Um, it's quicker to heat up. The smaller the sauna, plug it in within a few mo minutes. If you want to get into a hot environment, you know, it's going to be a lot faster um, and a smaller footprint, uh, you know, maybe you're confined on space and you don't have a big garage or a spare room. So don't always rush to, to buy in the biggest sauna possible. I mean, sure, it would be nice having a massive one if you can afford it, but most people don't need them. And in fact, I've had my three man sauna for a couple of years and I've had this for a few months and there's only been one or two times when I've had multiple people like myself and someone else in the sauna. I'd say 95% of the time it's just me. Now if you're in here on your own, this gives you multiple options. You can just leave it there as a bench, you know, you put your paper on there or a bottle, or you can do this, put it into the corner. And stretch out like so. Now all of a sudden I'm in a two-man sauna, but I can stretch out. I'm 5'10", what's that, a meter 78, and uh, yeah, I can lean it, lean back in the corner, my legs are straight, I'm relaxed. I also have this backrest behind me. Uh, for a little bit extra space, you can remove that. So now I wanna look at the features of this sauna. Saunas are pretty simple. You get in, you turn them on, you set the temperature, and you start sweating. It's not really too much to think about. Um, and the same is true for this sauna. If I show you the control panel, it is rather straightforward. Hit power, timer comes on, you set how long you want the sauna to run for, plus or minus is, uh, and then the temperature, 65 degrees Celsius being the maximum. Uh, you can turn the light on, which I should have done before, sorry, makes it a bit easier to see. Uh, or you can turn it off. And this sauna, the Sunstream sauna, also has an intensity setting, which is pretty cool. I've never thought about this function in other saunas, but it is rather handy. So you can go 50% intensity, 100% 75. What are the other features in the sauna? Above me, 
you can see two speakers. These are Kenwood speakers. They're actually really good speakers. Uh, a lot of saunas, uh, infrared saunas, will just use cheap, the cheapest speakers they can get. And I mean, in all honesty, you're not having a party in a sauna. You know, you're not, you're not, uh, you're not looking for a speaker that's gonna provide music for 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 a big living room or something. You only want sound in a small space. But hey, you want decent sound, right? So these saunas, are, uh, these speakers are really good, which is great. I've already mentioned the intensity in the control panel. There's nothing really else to mention uh, on that front. They do have Bluetooth uh, connectivity for the speakers. So that's a simple function of getting your phone out, finding the device syncing, and then you play your music or your videos through the speakers. Very easy. You can disable that Bluetooth if you don't want to use it um, at all, which is great. So it comes with this remote, which has various options and various colors on it. And then above me, is the LED unit. So I can turn that on and I can change the colors like so. Now it looks like I am having a party in here, right? Um, and you can even change the brightness. So I can go really bright or I can go quite dull. Uh, and you can go program settings and it will alternate between colors. You can do all sorts of stuff. Now. I've always thought they're a little bit gimmicky, um, but I found this actually has its benefits because the light in this sauna is quite bright. Now, I often use my sauna in the evening, um, and I don't know if you know about blue light, but blue light and how it impacts melatonin and stuff. Uh, I'll put an article uh, below if you want to read more about that. But getting into a bright sauna can be a bit stimulating, right? So you turn the light off, but of course, if it's nighttime, it's it's quite dark in here. Now this chromotherapy or color therapy unit is actually pretty cool because I can turn it on and set it on like red or amber and um, I know I'm not suppressing melatonin it's a nice relaxing color I often find these things have uh, reasonably high flicker rates now I've written an article on flicker everything you need to know about flicker and how light flicker and health um, I've tested some in the past and yeah the flicker rates are quite high that can be a stressor to the body can cause you know headaches and whatnot I've never noticed anything with this going on, but you may see on the screen, I can see it on my little preview screen here, how there's a light line coming down. Uh, as soon as I turn that off, it will disappear. So that's something to do with the frequency fluctuation of that light. All right, so we're coming to the business end of this review. That means we talk about price. So this Sunstream Evolve 20, two man sauna with ultra low EMF, um, made with non-toxic wood um, with an amazing panel setup, 360 degree panel setup. That cost just under four thousand dollars US, US dollars, all right, which is pretty good price considering what you're getting because you also get all those um, accessories, you also get um, lifetime warranty which is incredible when you stop and think about it, you know, there's a warranty on this forever which is amazing. Um, shipping, it's dependent, it's dependent on where you live. Uh, they have depots in USA, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. Uh, but you may have to pay a shipping fee depending if you're outside the big cities and the big hubs. But that's something you can find out over at sunstreamsaunas.com. Um, so 3900 3, I think it was for this particular sauna. Now, given that this is something that you know I'm going to use a couple times a week, hopefully for a very long time, I mean, if you work it out on a per session um, per use basis, you know, it's, it's very easy to justify that expense. But I guess if you're watching this, you're not, you're not thinking, should I spend the money on a sauna or not? You're probably coming into this thinking, should I buy this brand or that brand or another brand, right? Um, so obviously this isn't a comparison guide. I do have an infrared sauna buyer guide video uh, and article, so you can check them out if you do want to find out more about saunas and which one's the best for you. Otherwise, just leave a comment below or head over to my site and send me an email. Um, but yeah, that's I guess what you need to know. I, I think this is good value for what you get, especially when you do compare it to some of the other brands. What are my thoughts with this Evolve sauna? Um, pretty much, I, I think it's amazing. Like seriously, it's it's really good value. It ticks all the boxes from a health point of view. Um, it looks great, um, it works. You know, you sweat amazing big time in here. It's incredible how fast you sweat. Um, I haven't had any issues with technical side of things. There was one little humming sound that I had, which I found out I think was an issue with my power unit, but that's all been resolved. There was one thing that 
I don't like and that is how the control unit is inside in the back corner. With my clear light sauna, it is on the exter external, you know, you can access it from outside as well as inside. So you, you can walk in and just turn it on and walk out of the room and come back 20 minutes later. Now, with this one, I have to walk in, open the door, reach in, turn it on. I know it's not a big thing, but I don't know, that, if I had to be picky, I guess that would be the one little uh, downside, I guess, of this sauna. And check out all those articles over at alexfergus.com. I'll put links to them all below. There's heaps. There's an infrared sauna buyer's guide. There's the EMF video for this sauna. Um, there's going to be my head-to-head -head comparison, clear light versus sunscreen. Um, red light therapy articles, everything. All right, so everything I talked about, and I know I've talked about a lot of stuff. I lose my voice, my, my mouth is going dry, so it has been a long one, I apologize. But that's the end. And if you do have questions, leave them below. Otherwise, head over to alexfirst.com. I'm gonna sign out. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and do all that cool stuff. I really do appreciate it, I promise. And um, yeah, if you get a sauna, let me know what you think of it. You know, leave a comment, or if you have one, uh, I'm curious. Bye. Thank you.